Disney's had to deal with a lot of controversies lately, but I think this is the biggest controversy that they've had to deal with. And I'll get to that in a moment, but just for a little background on people who don't know what's going on with this, uh, there's those strikes going on in Hollywood and CEO Bob Iger of Disney recently made comments in an interview saying like, oh, it's kind of disturbing. These strikes are going on and their demands are unrealistic, which he got a lot of pushback for that, saying that that's kind of tone deaf and he just seems out of touch and other things like that. So since then, he's been trying to kind of backpedal on this and he's made this statement more recently. Nothing is more important to this company than its relationship with the creative community. That includes actors, writers, animators, directors and producers. I have deep respect and appreciation for all those who are vital to the extraordinarily creative engine that drives this company and our industry. And yeah, just kind of going on like that. So basically just kind of corporatees talk just saying like, let's just get back to normal, which is what you would expect for him. I mean, those initial comments, I didn't think that was really too egregious, but again, I'm not within that industry particularly. So that's just my opinion, but I think that's also reflected in a lot of the people in the general public uh, right now, because the only thing that, Disney really has to work with that uh, actually might affect them in the future is if their VFX people actually do unionize. But of course, I don't think that's going to happen. I think what's ultimately going to happen is they're just going to fire the people who are voting to unionize and then bring in more people because there's a lot of other VFX artists out there. I mean, so they don't, it's not like they need them. And that's probably why VFX departments haven't unionized in the past. Because if they do, then that would just really drastically increase the VFX budgets of movies, which means movies are either going to have to balloon even higher than their already high budgets of like one, two, three hundred million dollars to make a single blockbuster movie. They'll either have to exceed that tremendously and as we're seeing at the box office it's not paying off or they have to dramatically reduce the amount of vfx which i don't think is a bad idea as well but again going back to why this is not a huge issue is just from the fact that people don't care i mean the general public sees these strikes going on in hollywood and for the most part this is what they're seeing is basically just these a-list actors and other celebrities kind of becoming the face of it just they're inserting themselves into it for self-gain and ultimately it's just looking like it's a bunch of millionaires complaining to studios that they're not paying them even more which is kind of ridiculous but it's not really the case for people who actually know what's going on, but at the same time, that's the image that they're giving off. And that's why this controversy really doesn't hurt Disney. I mean, going into this article right here uh, from this person on the picket line, I'm not going to name names, but there have been so many times where a photographer turns up 15 minutes before someone famous arrives. And that's according to a screenwriter who's been marching uh, against Warner Brothers since uh, May. You know, it's no coincidence. It's obviously have been tipped off. And I agree, that's probably going on a lot. And I've even said this on Twitter a lot and gotten pushback from some people marching that, hey, that they're actually just uh, showing up for a photo op and that's it. And they're like, oh, no, no, the people are actually care and other stuff like that. I mean, it's hilarious for people trying to cope. But uh, yeah, that's all the celebrities who are actually going out there doing are really doing. Uh, industrial actors have... Uh, has brought the American entertainment industry to a standstill, but many of those taking part in the strike are inferior by what they see as self-promotion and virtue signaling by some prominent protesters. Other, others are thrilled by the occasional opp opportunities for celebrity spotting. Other uh, One actor said most picket lines could use a little bit of an A-line's a-list uh, sparkle however cynical it was deployed and yeah i mean then that's really the problem with this is like you're just getting these people who are just trying to self-promote because like obviously these a-list or millionaires or whatever they're not going to suffer as a result of it it's ultimately going to be the regular working uh entertainers like the writers uh uh, background actors or secondary actors or whatever people who are just kind of working gig to gig and i think that's what ultimately is going to happen with the whole situation because right now you get proposals from the studios uh, to the writers that now and i think ultimately they are going to accept a diminished result and hear me out this is what's going to happen i mean i have to explain it a little bit but right now you got the actors and writers paying dues to the unions the unions are supposed to represent them and get them the best deal and right now the studios have all the cards in their hand because they're saving money by not producing things and movies are bombing at the box office anyway so the studios are just like they've made statements in the past saying like, well, once they start pay, having trouble pay their bills, uh, talking about the writers uh, that they're going to be willing to negotiate. And yeah, we have seen that right now. And that's probably going to be the re ultimate result is the writers and actors who are actually protesting, who need the money and need the work are having a tough time and they're not going to be able to maintain this. So the unions are basically going to be more inclined to actually take a diminished offer than what they initially wanted and all the while, the union leaders can't go to their rep, the people that they represent and say, like, 
we we failed you and didn't get you what you needed because then it just then it got people to question like well why do we even work for you why do we or why do we even pay you dues if you can't even represent us to the fullest extent so what the unions are going to do is say like yeah we got you a good offer and this is what we got you and the studios are going to be like yep see we're we're reasonable and we got you this so the studios and the unions can uh, the union leaders i mean can basically claim victory all the while at the suffering of the people that are supposed to be represented in the lower class people within the industry itself so this is pretty much what hollywood is right now it's basically the studios and the unions dominating the working class people of the industry and this was a real opportunity for them to pretty much just break away from all that and just start doing the independent scene and actually build that up itself and i think that would have actually challenged the studio system but instead we're just going to see this kind of thing and it's going to be more of the same in the future but let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below and if you like this video make sure you click the like button share the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with the latest news thank you